Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Wilson Creations. Today's video is going to be an Oli's haul. Okay guys, at this point I am a little obsessed, but I went in there looking for Happy Planner books that I did not find. But I found some good things if you've seen the picture in the thumbnail, like oh holy smoke. So we're going to start with these. I found these markers. These are dual tip markers. Create, draw, write in color. Non-tostic acid free quick dry alcohol based perfect for drawing sketching illustration scrapbooking coloring office and general use you get 12 colors in there and it comes in this really nice reusable box so i thought let me see if i like it now this was three dollars and 99 cent i am kind of a marker snob a bit but I mean, this would be great for travel and things like that. I'm just trying to push this out the way. So, let's see. So, this part, I usually cut these off. I don't like these tags. It's just how they hang it. Um, let me see if I can cut that off. I never like them. I'm just like, why? Okay. So, I'm going to cut that part off, which I'm going to clean it up a little bit more. But anyway, it opens on the side and has two snaps. Oh, I like the little the little container. And then we're going to use this as a sample. Let's turn it over. So, I want to see how they are. So, we have a fine tip and then a broad tip. I love the broad tip. So, let's do that. So, this is like a green and it is pigment. It has a lot of ink in there, so it's really dark. Okay, so that's like a, oh, it has names on it. Yes, that will actually look. So this is G54, Flomo Creative. I don't know, I never heard of that brand. So here's another green. Um, okay, that's a lighter one. Kind of looks like what you could use for um, St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Did I say the color of this one? Now, putting these in and out, if you're going to use them, I will leave it out. This is G46. Okay. This next one is Y37. I'm not sure if this would be good for the saving challenges or not. I have to see. But I do like the variety of colors. This is a peach Y Y R26. Um on the white it just looks like basically no color. Okay, we got an orange Y R23. Okay, I like that orange. And then we're going to have a red. It has so much pigment in it. I don't know. It kind of looks like a ready orange. And what is this? Red is R11. Okay, let's try to get this purple. Oh, this looks like a brown. BR91. Like you can see how much ink is around the bottom. I don't I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But that's brown. And then we have a pink RP89. I like pink and I'm not loving that pink actually not like my favorite of pinks this one is a purple this purple is pretty seems like the more it sits on the paper the the more like saturated it's getting p81 and then probably going to be our last one on this i guess we can go the other way this blue is pretty B63. This blue is a pretty blue. I like that blue. Okay, we're going to turn the page to get these last tests in. 
So we have a darker blue, P, uh, PB71. I don't like how like it does kind of like skip a bit when you're drawing a line, but it could be the angle that I'm holding the brush. And this is a black 120s. I don't know how much was this four dollars. Definitely is going to give you a variety of primary colors and a little traveling, you know, carrying case. So we got dark green, light green, yellow, kind of like a peachy color, orange, red, brown, pink, purple, two different blues, and a black. So I don't know. We'll see how I feel about these and where I end up using the most. But really nice $4 set. See if I can, and it closes good. I wonder if this comes off. Yeah, you can pull the name off. And I don't think I would need that for anything. So I'm going to pull mine off. And guess what? You could decorate this case if you want it. You could decorate the case. And I'm even thinking now, maybe I'll put the sample strip of colors in here. So I know what color they are when I pick them up. That sounds like a good idea. And you see they went through on this page. I knew it. They actually went through on two. And that's good to know. Because you can see they'll probably go through on my Happy Planner pages. So you have to put an extra sheet or two behind it. This is what went through on the first sheet. And it actually went through, see that, on the second sheet as well. A little bit. So they're really saturated. Okay, the next thing that I got was this. And who doesn't love um, Ralph Breaks the Internet? And I think her name is Penelope. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it has over 30 stickers included. And I love her. I actually met her. What is her name? Is her name Penelope? I don't know. Um, anyway, you get these stickers, which I'm going to pull out. And then it's a ton of pages in here. Oh, you can put your goals there. Create a list of goals you want to achieve and write the date that you complete them. And then draw a cloud next to them if they're really big dreams that will come true in the far off future. Ain't that funny? Penelope loves driving so much that she can turn anything into a race car. Now that's a passion. A little Cinderella turn into... I really like this one. I love a lot of the images. Track your reading collection, add books. Finish to read, I give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I like that. Maybe this, now this is a little bit off track. It's not printed quite correctly. But it might be a really good one to put in my reading journal. I like this page. Let me see if I can take it out of here without ripping it. Um, oh, here we go. So here's the mark. I'm going to fold it to try to get it out of here without breaking it. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, nope, doesn't look like it wants to go, but come on, come out. It made it. It's a little bit crooked, like I said, but hmm. I'm going to put that in my reading book. If I leave it in there, I'll never use it. My favorite animals, my dreams, pets, a work of art. Anyway, I thought this would be really, really cute. Some of my favorite foods and breakfasts. Think about a time when you and your friends and something new, uh, friends did something new for the first time. And I got Moana back here and then some more stickers, which I'm gonna pull these out because I'm gonna do a planner spread with both of them. So this book cost $2 and that is why I got these stickers. I got all kind of goodness. Um, to keep my mind going and 
yeah, I'm really happy with these because I could use these in a planner spread. So that was $2, $1.99. And then this is the star of the show. I found these and I was like, holy shit, I'm definitely getting Sesame Street. I have plans to do a Sesame Street plan with me and I'm not sure if it's already filmed or not, but I was like, I am definitely couldn't pass up these things. Now these were $2.99, which to me were a little bit expensive and they were 15% off. So let's open up one we care le least about so we can see how it hangs on because I don't even know. Now there's some kind of, you're supposed to make it into a beanie it says and instructions on how to do that are on here. It says one hat wonder knit abby cabdabby hat for beginners 15 inches if it's a child size head so it's for a kid but oh this is just a little look it's just a string that you can take out and it goes through them so i didn't get it to make a hat so but the only thing is this ties from the bottom so I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with that. But I'm going to take all of these out. And then I guess I'll put this back. Because I'm pretty sure I can just, yeah. And so I have all these colors. Okay. Her name is Abby. and But I don't really remember her. So we have Abby. We're going to take out. And then we have Alma. Which um, I'm going to see if I can do it without pulling it out. So just going like this. And of course everyone knows Elmo. Oh, yep, so Elmo got out of there. So I didn't even have to take that out. And then the yarn I'm just going to use for something else once I figure that out. But these I'm going to use for my planners. So this one is Cookie Monster. I think I did a Cookie Monster spread or wanted to. And then, of course, this is Ernie. And Ernie is the cutest. And I'll show you all of these again. Oh, and I mean, the ribbon is good. So this is like uh, red, white, and blue, and yellow. And then red, I mean, blue, light blue, and white. This one's red, black, and white. And then, of course, pink, purple, and white. So the yarn itself is really good. But I didn't really get it for the yarn, even though um, I can always make tassels or do something with it. Let's try to get this out of here. So we got Bird and Ernie, and then um, the Garbage Man. What is his name? Oscar the Grouch. And I love the Grouch. Look at his hat. He is so cute. Okay, and then that's green, white, and it looks like a little gray. And then this one's green, orange, and blue, and white. So these are all the yarns, and they are called Sesame Street Lion Brand. $2.99. If you're looking for those, I'm just going to give you a shot of all of the yarn. And then I'm going to put those away. Let me show you all of these, which is the main reason I bought them. Let me see if I can hold them in a way that you can see them. And they are so cute. Like what? Look at me. I can almost make a little balloon holder. So all my friends so anyway this is what i got it for i'm not sure if i i guess i maybe can dangle it off of there and then it dang i don't like that it dangle backwards that is irritating to me then i'm like maybe i could just like sew a needle right here sew something on it and then it can go that way maybe that's what i'll do anyway i have to figure that out so i got those and then this is what I got. It's a 12 inch frying pan ceramic gold uh, aluminum cookware. It is nonstick ceramic coating, dishwasher safe, oven safe up to 320 degrees. Works on all cooktops. So this is a really nice one. It's cream and it has gold. They also have like pink and purple and blue. But I wanted something neutral. I needed a new pan because the one I had was just old. And so I got this one. I'm in love with it. And I can't wait to use it. So let's pull this out. And you can see how big of a surface I got. So basically I'm going to take this upstairs. And I'm going to get rid of my old one. I like. Oh, I love it. It feels so, so like good in the hand. 
Like it is not a cheap one. So anyway, I got that. Let's move that up there for a moment. And then the rest of this is junk. I got my favorite candies. I got the fruit chew sours. And then these are my favorite favorite and they only have a little bit left. So every time I'm in there, I'm getting like five bags of them. So I got five bags of this one. And then this time my husband had a request. He likes these. So I got these fruit slices. These are $3.99. These are like $1.19, which is better than the Dollar Tree. And then I ended up getting some more of these, which I like these. These are the cinnamon, cinnamon bears. These are $3.99. And so I picked those up. Walmart used to carry those, but now they, they don't. So that is going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun spending you know some time with you today i think my number one item would be all of the sesame street stuff and then the markers i also like the frying pan i don't know it was a really good haul today so that's going to be it for the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys are having a great day please like and subscribe that is your way to support me here on the channel it is free and i'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers so that's going to be it for today see you guys next time bye